The security of U.S. semiconductors has been very much in the news lately, and most of the debate has been about the over-reliance of the U.S. economy on a handful of facilities in Taiwan, South Korea, and China, and what can be done about that. Well, President Biden uh, recommended a $50 billion plan to uh, increase subsidies for the creation of semiconductor facilities, production facilities here in the U.S. The American companies lead the way in designing chips, but not in producing them, not anymore. So their shrinking share of that market is something that Washington policymakers want to reverse. Well, security is not just about uh, access to the chips. It's also about their reliability and their trustworthiness. Cyber attacks are increasingly frequent. They are uh, typically uh, attackers access systems through software. A worry that a Pentagon official told me about is that once uh, software vulnerabilities get addressed, attackers will increasingly turn to hardware, things like semiconductors. And we have seen in the past, the Pentagon in particular, buying a lot of counterfeit chips and other microelectronics. And so uh, this is an issue for the Defense Department in particular. So I took a look at what they're up to at DOD. Well, first of all, the Pentagon buys most of its semiconductors on the commercial market, but about 2% of them come from these dedicated foundries that are just for the Pentagon and the military and the intelligence community. But now Congress has said, you need to have standards in place to test whether your chips are secure and reliable and trustworthy because they have heretofore not had those kind of measurable standards. But now the philosophy has changed and uh, people are basically saying, you can't trust the process necessarily, or even the people. As one expert put it to me, you wouldn't buy a baby stroller that hasn't been tested if they told you when you went to buy it that it was bought from a very nice, uh, uh, seemingly reliable American citizens. Uh, you would want that baby stroller to be tested. And Congress has directed that by 2023, the Pentagon has to have those standards in place to determine uh, whether the parts they're buying are trustworthy and reliable and secure. And a couple things they're doing right now. One is to require in the contracts that they have with semiconductor companies that those firms provide the, the government access to their data in terms of what they're doing to check on the reliability of their products. The Pentagon wants to learn from the industry because the industry has been working pretty hard to make sure that their products are reliable and to have systems in place. So that's one prong of this. And another another prong is uh, the Pentagon is looking at different ways of manufacturing chips to do it in, in pieces called chiplets, where not everyone involved in the process knows what is going on on the other part of the process. Compartmentalization is a, is a foundation of uh, government secrecy and uh, software programmable chips, basically ways of making the things that will be inherently more secure. So this is all very much a work in progress. That 2023 deadline is fast approaching for the Defense Department.